Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Vista. Before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system. I would recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now, before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. The prerequisites for this to work are just Service Pack 2. If you're unsure of what Service Pack you have installed, you can easily check it by clicking the Start button and then in the search, type the following text, Winver. Then click on Winver. Beside the version string, if it says Service Pack 2, then you're all good. If it says Service Pack 1, or it doesn't even say Service Pack, then that means you need to install Service Pack 2. If it says Service Pack 1, then you can do a direct upgrade to Service Pack 2. If it doesn't even say Service Pack, then you need to upgrade to Service Pack 1, and then from Service Pack 1 to Service Pack 2. You can't do an upgrade directly from Windows Vista RTM to Service Pack 2, so you have to upgrade one by one. And it's also important to check what system architecture you have installed. And you can view that by clicking the Start button, then right-click on Computer, and then click Properties. By System Type, if it says 32-bit operating system, then that means you need to download the 32-bit versions of the required files. And it's also known as x86, so if you see x86, then that means 32-bit. And then if it says 64-bit operating system, then that means you need to download the 64-bit versions of the required files. And it's also known as x64, so if you ever see x64, then that means 64-bit. So now with that out of the way, let's start. So the first thing we need to install are the prerequisite updates. Now these updates fix a problem in Windows Update, where Windows Update checks for updates for a very long time. By installing these updates, it fixes that so Windows Update will check for updates like normal, and it won't take a very long time to check for updates. And I would also like to mention that all these updates require a restart, so you'll need to have some patience when installing them. So the first update we need to install is the KB3205638 update. On the user account control pop-up, click continue, and then click OK on the dialog box. Once it finishes installing, we can click restart now. Next, we need to install the KB4012583 update. On the user account control pop-up, click continue. Then on the dialog box, click OK. Once it finishes installing, we can click restart now. After we finish installing the update, we need to install the KB4015195 update. On the user account control pop-up, click continue. Then on the dialog box, click OK and then the update will start to install. Once it finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. After we finish installing the update, we need to install the last update in this list, which is the KB4015380 update. On the User Account Control pop-up, click Continue. On the dialog, click OK. And then once the update finishes installing, we can click Restart Now. After we finish installing all of the prerequisite updates, we can install the Windows Update Agent. On the User Account Control pop-up, Click Continue, then on the installer, click Next, then click I Agree, then click Next, and then the Windows Update Agent will start to install. Once it finishes installing, we can click Finish. If you don't get a prompt to restart the system, then we need to manually restart the system. To do that, we can click the Start button, then click this button to expand the dialog, and then click Restart. After we've restarted our system, we need to install the Visual C++ runtimes. Right-click on the batch file and click Run as Administrator. Then on the User Account Control pop-up, click Continue. And then it'll start installing all the Visual C++ runtimes that are compatible with Windows Vista. This part will take some time, so you'll need to have patience. After it's finished installing all the Visual C++ runtimes, we need to set up a WSUS proxy. Right-click on Add underscore WSUS, then click Run as Administrator, and then click Continue. Once it finishes, we can close out of the command prompt window. Then we need to right click on run underscore WSUS and then click run as administrator. Then on the user account control pop-up, click continue. If you get this prompt, click on block. And now we've set up the WSUS proxy. Now, before we check for updates, I'd like to mention what this proxy does. So what this proxy does is it bypasses the SHA2 code signing support checks that the Windows Update servers now have. Originally, you could just check for updates and it would work. But since Windows Vista doesn't support SHA2, and it only supports SHA1, you'll always get an error when you check for updates. But when we have this proxy, it bypasses that, so you can check for updates like you normally would on Windows Vista, and a bunch of older operating systems as well. So now with that out of the way, we can check for updates. To do that, we can click the Start button, then click Control Panel, then click System and Maintenance, and then click Windows Update. And then we can click Check for Updates. And there we go, we now have the screen that says Install New Windows Update Software. If you get this screen, just click Install Now. Windows Update will temporarily close itself, and then it'll reopen. And there we go, we've now found 213 updates. Now please note when installing updates, 
proxy needs to be open, as is our connection to the Windows Update servers, and you need to install the updates in chunks of 80. The reason being for this is that if you install all of the updates at once, Windows Update may freeze and you'll be forced to restart your system and the updates will fail to install. If you do them in chunks of 80, you won't run into that issue. So there we go. That's how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Vista. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.